Hey guys, how are you? I'm Cabin. Welcome back to Hive Swap. Um, I like that this background uh, for the, the title screen changed now that we're in a new location. Uh, so let's get back in there. Alright, so... <laughs> can't quite recall what we were doing, to be honest. Uh, so let's just watch the TV here. Kind of can't. But these are characters that I at least recognize... Maybe they're sisters of a character that I know. What's going on over here? As a rust blood, you're not permitted to have a luxurious circular disc, only the standard hexagons. <laughs> gotcha. This is so loud. It's so good. It's very, very good, I must say, but it's very, very loud. That's fine. Okay. Um, this is a couch. These lounge planks aren't full of soap or slime or anything like that. They're just comfortable horizontal surfaces suited to either the sitting or lying prone positions. Fair enough. So, I don't remember if we want to leave just yet. We're going to head in, into this room, whatever this may be. There's our, um... Oh my god, I forgot. Lucis. I was going to say Nessus, but that's a planet in Destiny 2. Oh dang it, your Lucis is sleeping somewhere totally inconvenient again. Come on, wake up. Uh, okay, hello? Oh, we get to name it. <laughs> I thought the game crashed. We're keeping zoo smell, that's hilarious. Um, look, zoo smell's in the way again for a change. Just keeping things interesting, I guess. Can I, can I move you? You ask as you smell to move. At first, you're friendly and casual, as if, you're ex as if you expect him to move easily. Then you try being polite, but a little distant. Your tone becomes annoyed, then firm, followed by stern, finally shifting to angered. Nothing works. You just can't reach him lately. The only thing Zeusmel seems to care about is his sloth treats. That's a pretty good hint. So this is the thing we can take. So push your playbook. Um... Now, if a situation arises where you need to remember a particular particular play, you'll be well equipped to do so. You resolve to keep an eye out for just such a contrivance. Again, words that I don't know. Look at that. It's nearly escape from your impending death o'clock. You better not be late. I get it. I understand. Um, anything we can grab? I'll take one of those. Grub juice hydration cylinders. There's those treats, right? Always useful in case you need to whip up, whip up a souffle. You're bad at that, but it's a mandatory part of your future job, so... Okay, that's not what we thought it was. The cake? Leftover from Tetrarch's Deme Tetrarch Demek's early wriggling day party. He doesn't turn seven sweeps old for a couple wipes, but you wanted to celebrate him before his rites of m maturation. Okay, we gotta find those treats, right? Is that what we're looking for here? Is that... All the best chefs cook on very high heat. <laughs> you're, you're not one of the best chefs, which is just as well since your cr crispinge kind of sucks. Besides, how will you know how to cook if how will you know how to cook if Demek doesn't tell you what he wants? Fair enough. Your spice rack. It's where you keep your spices. Understood. So we are just gonna leave. I think. If you went out this way, it'd be easy prey for a drone before you could ever make it to Tetrarch Demex. You mean to save Joey? That's what you mean. Is that a room back here? Can we go in here? It looks like a room, doesn't it? Maybe we missed something upstairs. Because we definitely have to get those treats for that Lucis then. If that's the case. Alright, we're going upstairs again. Ascend. Shouldn't be too difficult to find them. Would they be in here, maybe? Because I think... Oh, I, I know what this is. I don't know why I did look. Hmm. Not quite. Maybe in our, maybe in our room. Could have sworn I explored this pretty well, but... You can never be too sure. Oh, maybe out here? With all those drones out there, no way. Okay, so it's not in here either. 
unless there's like a way to look at the table or something, but I think that that's all over in here too. So this room, as far as I can remember, is blocked off because the loses sleeps there and we don't want to go in there. So I actually don't know what to do unless I already have the treats. I have an idea. I don't want to hurt this Lucis, but I might be able to... Ah, uh, who are you kidding? You can barely lift a spoon without passing out. If he's going to be moved, he's going to have to be... It's going to have to be him doing the moving. Got to make him want to, you guess. How about... I mean, not, I don't know. He's very particular about his diet. He only eats sloth treats, but he only eats a lot of them. You mean in the reference book and determine that you have a headache. Fair enough. I actually don't agitate glub slurry. You don't currently have any unagitated glub slurry that needs agitating in your glub slurry agitator. Whenever you do though, you always you always know right where to go. I don't know where this thing is. Either that or he just fell asleep there. I don't know where these treats are, guys. It's Stickball Illustrated, Grubs, Deer. Um, the rest always incorporate the magazine's name on the cover into some sick graphic design to the point that you can't actually tell what the name is. This one with the graffiti of a muscle beast throwing up is usually about movies, though. Interesting. Where? Am I crazy? What's that? You design your hive around this tree, hoping it would grow along with you and your Lucis. That's actually really cool. Am I have to be crazy, right? Like, why is there no... Hold on. Okay, we can't talk because it'll put us at greater risk. How about... Maybe this will work? He tends to rely more on raw... in. Indolent instinct than on tactics. I don't want to do spoon bending around them. You fire off from the hip with some absolutely devastating, with some absolutely devastating verse about your Lucis and about Lucis's in general and their inability to comprehend the struggles of their wards due to a lethal combination of being too old, too corny, and too much dumb monster animals instead of people. He retaliates by continuing to be asleep. You're wrecked. He's not really into Flarp, but also can't read, and also is a sloth. I don't know what to do. I, have no <laughs> I haven't made any progress at all. I have no idea what to do. I feel like it's right in front of me. That's how these games tend to, do, tend to be for me. I feel like it's right there. I just haven't been able to... I don't know what I want. Is there a door? I, I, like this door here is bothering me because I want to go out that door, but I, I think it just leads to this room again. Sorta. All right, I'm going back in the fridge. Eating an unranged cluck beast ova is a great way to fill your acid tomb with horrifying parasites. Sometimes when you're feeling especially rebellious, you wish all the good toppings weren't reserved for high bloods. It's a pizza. Gotcha. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. Bile's law really doesn't keep well. Apparently. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm uh, in a deadlock here. Alright. Now here's the thing. Stop it. We're going to the other character. I mean, that's the only thing I can do. Anything I can do on... What's her name again? Joey, right? Yeah, Joey. Stop it. This seems to be a map. You don't recognize it. Or, well, actually, now that you think about it, they moon. But you're not sure where you... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw that before. There's a box, there's a lot of boxes, crates, miscellaneous containers, etc. Pretty mundane stuff, in your honest opinion. Yeah, I remember this too, so again, nothing we can do. I don't wanna hit, I don't wanna hit the Lucis. It's a terrible idea. Is it gonna, is it gonna make me? Is that? 
You never take a swing at your Lucis. Not that he'd, he'd even feel it if you did. He's very strong. Yeah, exactly. I mean... More about cooking. Guys, I don't know what's going on. I really have no idea what to do. Joey Alien needs our help and we're stuck <laughs> behind it. We can't just climb over this thing. I don't understand. I really have no idea what's going on. I, I guess I have to go back upstairs. There's no way it's, it's, it's down here. Remember that too. I feel so dumb, like. Is it a is it a joke of some kind? Like, is this are these treats not really treats, but like like a whole a whole chicken or something? I don't know. This is your faithful old sk scored ray, which you haven't bothered draining recently. Ins inside of it, resi fluid and floor filth coalesce to make a repugnant gray sludge I can read it just there's, there's so many words but like back to back that are just it's it's almost unnecessary but I guess that's kind of the point right is it in here So what was this whole thing about? Just a huge heavy vault themed with sports, arena stick ball specifically and obviously. It's the only place in the hive you can store food for your Lucis. Yeah, okay. All right, now hold on a minute. Yes. We use the ball, I mean the book, the playbook. I figured it out, guys. There it is. Got him. You grab the sloth treats. You know just what to do with these. I sure do. Took me long enough. Let's get out of here, man. Let's go save Joey. You got just the thing to get him moving. Here you go, Zuzmo. <laughs> so sad. Hey, thanks, buddy. He thanks Zuzmo for moving out of the way. All you had to do was give him exactly what he wanted. Let's go. Cutscene, perhaps? Yeah. Excuse me? Look at it. Looks like it might be some kind of software box. Pick it up. Okay, hmm, hmm, oh. Scratchware received. All future messages to and from this device are protected from third party surveillance. As a special one-time offer, all past messages are protected as well. Do you agree that you are already subject to the terms of service? I'm vaguely unsettled by this. I am. If again, I. Um, hello? What? What is going on? <laughs> hello? Hey, Joey. It's Joey, right? Yeah, that's right. And you're Xerox. Actually, no, I'm, Z I'm Zephyros. Oh, oops. Are you okay? What's going on? I thought we weren't supposed to talk. Yeah, something weird happened though. I think it's safe now. What do you mean? Real quick. Do you have a green and white symbol in your chat window now? Oh, hey, yeah. That wasn't there before. Okay, I think we're safe then. To chat anyway. Okay, good. I still don't quite get what the danger is, but I guess I'm going to need to trust you if I have any hope of getting out of here. 
Well, um, some bad news on that front. A missile hit my hive and I'm buried in, under the debris in my lawn ring. A missile? I heard a big heavy thump a minute ago. Is that related? Oh yeah, that was probably the missile that nearly killed me. You need help way more than I do right now. I don't want to be a bother, but I was about to say something to those effects. Or I mean, I was going to say I'm sorry I can't help you anymore and we're both stuck waiting to find out if flames or the drones will reach us first. Nuts to that. I'm going to save you. Aren't you stuck? I was, but that missile knocked some boxes over that I don't think I could have moved on my own, so in a weird way it kind of helped. Boxes? Yeah, they were blocking a vent shaft. I'm going to climb up there and see where it leads. Wow, you're kind of like a real life action hero. Wow. Oh shucks, I want to help you the way you were going to help me. And you were putting yourself at a lot more risk than I realized, I repeat. I've been meaning to ask, what the heck does that mean? Oh, you can use letters and numbers to make a little face. Tetrarchdemech told me he likes it when I smile. That's very weird. <laughs> Not the emojis, just that phrase right there. Uh, we have those where I'm from, but I don't know what the X means. Oh, those are my horns. Your horns? Yeah? Like this? Like the guy on the screensaver? I think so. That's probably not my. That's probably not me though. But those are real. Um, do you not have horns? I thought they were out of frame. No, I don't have horns. Jeez, what a question. That's so weird and cool. You really are an alien. I never thought I'd meet one. Well, today's your lucky day. Or I mean, it really seems to be that. But you understand what I'm go. Wait, it really seems to not be that. But you understand what I'm going for here. I think so. Yeah. I'll be there as quick as I can, so apply pressure to the wound and try not to move too much. It's okay. The weight of the rubble crushing my body is pressing down on my wounds and preventing me from moving at all. Man, Xerox, buddy. We really gotta work on your concept of what's okay. So we have this green box now. I don't know what it is. Can I, like... The huge monitor seems to be all set for a weird energy, which is what this cube positively radiates. Uh, hopefully not literally, but almost certainly literally. So can I go out? No way, if you wanted to get killed by a weird monster. That was a yawn. In the basement, you would have stayed at home, so I, I guess I'm going in there. Okay. Don't worry, guys, I have a cup of coffee, so the yawning will stop soon. Um. Okay. Hey, I made it through the vent shaft. Wow, that's pretty exceptional. Well, gosh, thank you. It was a little creepy in retrospect, and in retrospect, fairly dangerous. Or shall I say, it was more dangerous than I expected? Well, um, I would rather you didn't, honestly. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, but typing quirks are sort of... I mean, unless you don't really have one, but, um, the kind of a thing that's exclusive to you, you know? Well, I mean, it's okay if you were... if they're used by... Used occasionally by someone you're close to. No offense, but I don't know you that well yet. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry. I will know better from now on. No, I'm probably being weird about it. I'm sorry. You had no way of knowing. Zephyros, it's okay to tell someone... Tell, tell people when they do something that bothers you. Better to express how you feel than to sit on it forever while the other person has no idea. What kind of foundation for a friendship would that be? Oh, yeah, you're right. By the way, how much rubble are you covered in exactly? I'm not really sure I'm going to get you out of there. Oh, that won't be too hard if you can find my hover pad. It's around there somewhere. I use it to move my Lucis around, but Tetrarch Demac borrowed it. To move some guns, I think, or maybe his drums. Oh, bad timing, huh? Yeah, indeed. Well, I mean, <laughs> that was a couple sweeps ago, so I guess it's pretty much his now. You know what they say, your hive is my hive. Actually, that's mostly what the Tetrarch says so he, as, as he's taking my stuff. Okay, that's nice, but where's the hover pad exactly? Oh, right, sorry, it's fine, I just don't want you to bleed to death or whatever while typing. I think it's probably still in the Tetrarch's loft above the respite block. Do you, know where I, do you know where you are now? Not really, but it's kind of dark and creepy. I don't want you to, I don't want you to, I don't want to make you anxious, but that describes um, every block in the Tetrarch's hive. Great. I'll message you when I'll make, when I've made some more progress, I suppose. Okay, yeah. I think I'm about to pass out from blood loss, so I'm going to chill for a little while. Hang in there. I'll find that hoverpad soon. Let's, this looks important. No dice. You guess it's out of power, maybe? Uh, this is a book. Can I grab that book? Yeah. Pick up the, let's see, looks like this is a book of be big book of beasts. You flip through, glimpsing, ton glimpsing tons of monsters at various levels of we- that should say probably weird, cute, scary, and spectacular. You can use this to learn more about the weird alien life on this weird alien planet. Neat. Uh, lots of guns. 
Uh, this looks important. The mech seems pretty paranoid. Even if you can, even if you could crack this safe, it probably wouldn't be ahem, safe to do so. Fair enough. Over here, the desk is in pretty lousy shape on account of the guns piled up on top of it. If you need to get any last-minute paperwork done, look elsewhere. Pretty solid-looking door. Hopefully, there's a way to open it. You're feeling a little boxed in. Although McGruff the Crime Dog has never explicitly covered the, covered this in any of his safety lectures, you probably shouldn't try to climb a pile of guns. Alright. So then... Barth can't possibly move all that stuff by himself. There's not a single piece of this pile that he could lift as much as an inch. Okay, fine. What was this again? Oh yeah, looks like the beams from the portal may be blasted up through the floor, destroying half the stairs and knocking this lethal lethal crap all over the place. All over the place, especially in your way, especially in that place in particular. What are the odds? Yeah, seriously, right? Can I do one of these? No? Can I do one of these? No? If you run down the battery, you have no idea where you where you get more. Better save it for when you really need it. I mean like I don't I don't I don't know what's going on. None of the beloved animated creatures featured on this on these pogs are in this book, which is fine, you guess. You're not sure what you expected what they might be. Steer clear. You aren't going anywhere near Demex's clogged toilet or whatever this is. Maybe it's the egg he hatched out of. It's gross, is what it is. That's true. It's like band band things. These movies kind of look like they're not your thing, really. No judgment. You just don't want these posters at all. Fair enough, but also, I guess here, you see the medium book of monsters, the small book of beasts, the several beasts collected in random order of a book. Uh, no, in random order in a book. Equip? No. <laughs> open. I mean, I know there's no power, right? There isn't a handle. It must be open some other way. So it's this. Huh, the hamper is probably how this door is opened, or maybe it just means that the room on the other side is room 4, or room hand, or maybe that's the obvious local sign for lethal monsters do not answer. Either way, this thing doesn't seem to be powered. So we gotta power it. So if we become this guy... You try, but it's too heavy. He smells working in it, but at the rate he's going, it might be old age that does, it. It does you in. Okay. Can I? No. Please, thank you. I think we have to go back. Oh, wait a minute. I. What do you mean? It does look like this would be a perfect fit, but then again, this Demet guy seems a little paranoid and extremely dangerous. You don't know if you should put it in. You just should, you should put it in. The hoverboard, right? That's what we're looking for. I don't understand. No dice, you get out of power. Yeah, I mean, clearly. Anything in the foreground here? Not quite. So it's the safe, the stuff in the back. So we have to use something here. Not that you really care about you, what Jude cares about, since what he cares about tends to be incredibly dorky without exception. He hope, you hope he's okay, though. Fair enough, fair enough. Kind of like... A and send this nasty egg thing tumbling over, just totally covering you in nasty slime? No thanks. No thanks a million. Why isn't that working? Ha, huh, uh, this pile looks a little more volatile than the cardboard box variety you, you're used to. You think maybe you should just look for another way to move it. Like one that isn't you standing next to a pile of probably loaded guns and stomping your feet a lot. I don't understand. I mean, like... You pick a page at random and accidentally spend a few minutes reading about muscle beast pectoral tumescence. 
Dumescence. Maybe you should just use this on Lucis's that you actually encounter. Actually, also, hope that you never encounter that one. F fair enough. Can I, like, jump in there? Hey, you can see the portal from here, right through this giant hole you made when you inadvertently lasering yourself into Demek's house. You hope you're not responsible for any of this damage. Well, we are, so... Wait a minute. This man. This man here. <laughs> I, I I see you, friends. I yeah, I get deer cat looks like the deer cat, but hmm, are they commoners here or something? Yeah, probably. Sorta. Dude, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know what to do. Am I crazy? Like it's not even giving us options half the time. Do we do this? You drop a couple e-cell batteries onto the panel. Nothing happens. You guess the technology isn't compatible. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Should have thought about that. I apologize in advance. Oh, for God's sake! Did I have to just do this the whole time? Oh my God! Nice. Hey, hi Joey, how's it going? Not great, I accidentally put everything in lockdown, or maybe it was in, in lockdown before and it, and I somehow got past one door? That's probably it. The Tetrick has extremely high security. What's the deal? Is he really paranoid, or is your planet really dangerous? It must be if everyone's house is full of guns. Actually, my hive is pretty different. It's a lot cleaner, for one thing. It has a tree growing in it for my Lucis, but the, and there's no guns. That sounds really nice. What does he even need so many guns for, anyway? Well, I guess it's okay to tell you since you're another rust blood, but don't tell anyone else. It's a major secret. I don't know a single other person on your entire planet. Oh, right. Okay, but, um, yeah, so we're rebelling. It's okay, you can take a minute. I know it's a lot to process. Rebelling against what? The man? Um... Why that color choice? Oh, the heiress is a girl. Oh, um, right, you're an alien. Okay. Some context. The heiress is a murdering tyrant who holds our whole planet in her wicked finny fist. Finny? Yeah, she's a sea dweller and a fuchsia blood. One of only two. The other one, well, she's, she's really far away. Well, she's really far away all the time, leading the conquest of other galaxies or whatever, which is lucky for us because she's incredibly powerful. The can can condescence, right? That's the idea there? Not so lucky for the people in the other galaxies, though. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's true. But anyway, the heiress is enough to deal with. The other high bloods follow her, and of course, she has a drone army. Well, of course. Ain't that always just the way? Yeah. I was kidding. I don't know what high bloods or drone armies or anything. I don't know what, what, what. That doesn't make any sense. I hate to be all hi. I'm he new to your new here on your planet. Can you gradually bring me up to speed on literally everything? Watch in amazement as I stun you with my penetrating cluelessness. Feast your eyes on my badly executed jokes. Pretty upbeat about all this. I think if I was suddenly shot across the galaxy or whatever, I'd be flipping out. Are you currently bleeding out ton under a ton of rocks? Yeah, I guess so. Or, uh, I guess so. It's kind of annoying to have no idea what's going on. Okay, well, the drones are the things flying around outside. They take us into custody if they see us, assuming they don't kill us outright by firing missiles into our bodies until we're dead. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, a lot of this can wait until we get you to safety, so... I'm gonna go find your hover pad now. Talk to you soon. One thing about Homestuck, and anything related to it, is that there's always a ton of text. Always so much text. So much text. Okay, um. I don't even. I just want to find the house, this hoverboard right now. This hole is what you get when you build an elevator into your house while at the same time not caring if people fall down the hole. The platform is down in the basement. You can still hear the sound of that wild animal below. My chair creaked. This perhaps? Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. Who locks the door to their kitchen? Is he worried if someone is going to steal his. Okay, there's just. There's no way he eats bugs, right? A computer, you wonder if Dem if Demek ever makes his own video games as a mean of hashing out his problems like Clarissa does. Clarissa, Clarissa is so cool. This looks important. Demek has gone back and forth between the Grubbles and the Grub Grubbles several times. The Grubbles seems to be the, the current favorite though, at least until he crosses it out and writes the other one beneath it. Nice. Another vent. There's some gross stuff. Nope, 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 not your bug, not your bull, not your problem. 
So that seems like nothing important for us. That's a harpoon. Did you not look at this door before trying that? It's insanely dangerous out there. If you want if you want to make a run for it across the street, you better be fast. The door is pretty intimidating. The spear sticking through it manages to be significantly more intimidating. Whoever threw the spear is definitely the most intimidating though, so it's a good idea. Good thing that they don't seem to be around. There's a the feed on the on the top mon TV monitor looks like the room you were in a few moments ago. It's weird to see it from this perspective. Also, the room looks significantly different than you remember. The left one seems to be an error message, but you don't rem recognize the other two at all. Wait, is that Zephyrus in the bottom one? His big monster parent thing is helping him out, and uh, that's um, he's supremely creeped out. That's his room, right? Yeah. Strange. What's this thing right here? Oh, hey, the tablet's doing the thing again. Awesome. Um, uh, gonna play Snake again? Oh, God. Are we being, like, chased by this other snake or something? Is that the whole idea behind this, or is it just in our way? Oh, are we, like, only able to get one? Hey, Zeros, you there? Can't really go anywhere else with the debris slowly crushing my body. Ooh, fright, sorry. Is that okay? Uh, it doesn't sound okay. I try to move around a lot. <laughs> it doesn't sound okay. Try not to move too much. Okay, I'll try. I'm going to uh, pass out a little now. Wait, real quick. Having trouble with the uh, security puzzle, you can, you can call it. I solved the one in the basement. I solved the one in the basement, no sweat, but this one seems kind of different. Security puzzle? Do you mean the serpent ROM that the Tetrarch demacrated up to his power hexa hexagrid? God. <laughs> so, such long like just words back to back i wouldn't have used these words those words but if you think that's what i'm talking about it probably is there's another one a different one i think so the start screen is different anyway and the power is still on so i don't know what it it would be connected to it's high security probably he's always tinkering with it to make it more complex yeah for the one in the basement i only had to eat the letters but now they're different there's different letters to eat i don't know what letters to eat if that makes sense oh it's probably Yeah, I got it. No, that's not it. What? I'm typing it in, but, but it keeps changing to a bunch of X's. Maybe it's that new security software I installed. It must stop me from posting my password to the chat. Really? Let me try. Mr. Stay Lore Thomas 80. Can you see that? <laughs> What's that? No, you told me it would turn into X symbols while you're using the Tetrax tablet. It wouldn't know your password. I can't believe I did that. I'm so I don't know who that is. I, I need to go back up here real quick. Ms. Taylor Thomas 80. Not M Mr. Staylor Thomas. Ms. Taylor Thomas. So Taylor Thomas is someone we're gonna we're gonna meet later, I'm assuming. Sorry, I'm going I'm going home. I can never show my face on this planet again. Ms. Taylor Thomas 80 seems like a nice password. I never guessed that. You must be really smart, Joey. No, apparently I'm super stupid. What's so embarrassing about it? Nobody everybody makes mistakes. I originally read that as nobody makes mistakes. <laughs> It's just, well, I guess it's the name of the boy I like. Really? Don't tell anyone, but that's what my password is, too. Oh, do you have a girl you like? Oh, no, it's a boy. Oh, for some reason, I thought you were a boy all this time. I am. Oh, huh. So, um, not to rush you or anything, but I'm still dying in rocks. About the security console. Yeah, about that. Can you, like, give me a hint? It's the name of our band, but there's a couple of different ways to spell it. That's pretty weird. Yeah, we keep going back from this, you know, the grubbles to the grubbles. I actually don't know which one is it is right now. Well, I'll scout around and see if I can find something. He's about to have it written down somewhere. I, um, I hope so. I'm going to con conserve my strength a little bit, maybe getting kind of dead. Hang in there. Okay, we got to go. Not over there. That's wrong. Wrong way. Going back over here. We have to remember this. Do I have to remember this? Do I have to remember this? <laughs> I really don't want to have to remember this. The grubbles with the spelled correctly. So maybe the game will help us out. I don't know. So let's do this. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to remember how that's. Oh, is that it on the top on the right there? The game's reminding us.
Okay, I'm... <laughs> how there's only all right I think we did it why are there two snakes I, mean, I guess it's just an obstacle door opened and the deer cat's coming the loosest is on its way I like how it has a, a little like harness on it's kind of funny Ew. All right, well, I figured out the game, but the monster chased me into, uh, I'm fairly confident this is a kitchen. It's really gross, but anyway, keep you in keeping you informed. Monster, wait, sorry, I'm a little woozy. The deer cat. Oh yeah, now I remember the Tetrarchs Loosus. Okay, sure. Hey, while we have a second, maybe you can fill me in on what that means. What what means? What's a Loosus? Wow, what? That's just about the saddest thing I've ever heard, or I've ever heard get said. <laughs> Yeah, cultural differences, etc., etc. Can you bring me up to speed while on this wild beast stalking me? Why does Namek even have a crazy cat monster in his house? Well, it's not actually, it's not usually crazy. We lose this takes care of you. Protects you from wild monsters and also dying from, like, whatever, you know? I guess mine's not too good at that since I'm still being crushed by heavy debris. I, not really. Are they all, um, beasts? Well, yeah, that, what else would they be? And they're always this rambunctious? I mean, it seems like I'd be pretty crazy if everyone in your... It's, it seems like it'd be pretty crazy if everyone in your family had their rip snorting, their own rip snorting monster. What's a family? It's some kids and their kids. It's some adults and their kids, or one adult and some kids, or some kids and their babysitter, and the cons and the cons <laughs> and the conspicuous absence of a father who isn't garbage. Adults? Yeah, why? Adults live on your planet? Yeah, of course. It's it's that not? Is that not? Oh my gosh. Yeah, of course. Is that not where they live? For you? For your adults? It's, sorry. This is somehow the weirdest thing you've said yet. Once you come of age, you get sent off planet for your ordeals. And that's it? Nobody ever comes back? Ever? No exceptions. There are no adults on Alter Alternia. I think this might be some another, wow, I'm an alien conversation. Better save for when you're not pinned under a, a bunch of rocks. Probably. I'm gonna have to rest in a sec. Okay, well, I'm going to focus on finding your hover pad. I'll let you know when I find it. When I do. Thanks, Joey. I'm gonna focus on maintaining consciousness, I think. Good plan. Stay uh stay alive. Um kid power. Oh geez, that was awful. Sorry, bye. Wow. Okay guys, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> We're definitely gonna stop there for the for the day. Uh I hope you had a good one. I know I did. This game is crazy. Um and it's only gonna get crazier. because uh, that's what Homestuck is. <laughs> so again, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you very soon, alright? Bye.